Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you a highly requested video, and that is how to color bubbles. Way back when I started my Facebook group, probably I believe the beginning of the year, like March or somewhere around then, one of the first things that I shared was this page in Hannah Carlson's Magical Dawn, and I got so many requests to do a tutorial and show how I colored the bubbles on this page. So way back then, I got out my phone and I just kind of hovered it over me and I filmed a video really quickly and kind of just showed how I colored these bubbles, but I only had a couple very small bubbles left on the page. So it was kind of a very short tutorial, just giving you an idea of how I was able to do this. So I wanted to be able to go ahead and film this and have a bu actual bubble tutorial here on my YouTube. So today we are going to do an actual full tutorial and learn how to color bubbles. We're going to use Prismacolors for this tutorial, so get out your Prismacolors so you can follow along. If you enjoy coloring tutorials, coloring supply hauls, and you want to take part in our color alongs that I host here on my channel, between my channel and my Facebook group, please do subscribe to my channel and also turn your bell notifications on so that you always get notified every time I post a new video. If you're interested in joining my Facebook group, you can go to the description box below and there will be a link down there that will take you to my Facebook group. Just put in a request to join and I will get there to accept them as soon as I can. I am also on Patreon if you would like to support me over there, and I also do have an email list if you would like to sign up for that. Again, everything is in the description below. If you enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Let's go ahead and get into the video. So what I did is I just took this piece of paper. This is the um, Spring Hill paper that I always love to color on. And I just decided to draw some of my own bubbles on the paper. The way I did this is I just took a circle stencil and I just kind of drew them out and put a few overlapping. I wanted to make them look similar to the bubbles on this page. And so I just kind of tried to do my own thing on my own paper. So that way I can bring you this tutorial. I zoomed you all in quite a bit more and I think that you could probably see the bubbles good enough. So let's talk about the colors that we have. The first color that I have is Ceruline Blue, PC103. Then I have my Deco Yellow, which is PC1011. I have Blue Lake, which is PC1102. And I have Caribbean Sea, which is PC1103. I have, oh gosh, this, I think this is Skylight Blue, maybe if I'm not mistaken. It's PC1086. And then I have my trusty white Prismacolor, which is PC938. And then this color is going to make all the magic happen in our bubbles. And this is our indigo blue PC901. And then just for detail, I have my Uniball Signal. I'm wondering if maybe I should use my Posca instead, but this is the way that I had originally do it. So I'm going to stick to the original way and I'm going to try to use my Signo pen. So I think that I'm going to, I'm not going to color all the bubbles that I drew out on this page. I just wanted to, wanted to make it look kind of cool to where the bubbles were just kind of streaming upward, just like it did on that Hannah Carlson page. And if you're wondering, that was Hannah Carlson's um, Magical Dawn book. And so let's go ahead and get started. The first color I'm going to use is the Ceruline Blue. Gosh, these pencils rolling all over my desk. <laughs> but the first one I have is the Ceruline Blue. And let's go ahead and color this one here. Let's go ahead and do one of the ones where we have two overlapping bubbles. And I'm going to show you exactly how that works. So I'm going to come in with my Ceruline Blue. And I'm just doing the outside edge of the bubble.
Then I'm going to grab my um, deco yellow and I'm going to come over the entire bubble and I'm going to kind of pull this blue down. And I'm going to go over the whole bubble with this color. And you can see that is just like so cool because when you go over the uh, blue with the yellow it kind of gives it or turns the color green which is really pretty and it's going to look really pretty in our bubble. Then I'm going to come in with my blue lake and I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to add more blue to this. And you can see I'm just kind of pulling it down further into the bubble. Then I'm going to come in with my Caribbean Sea. And we're going to go over that even more. You don't want to come down too far. I would say right here about halfway is good. And now we're going to come back with, like I said, what I think is sky blue light. And we're going to go over this and we're just going to kind of blend all of this together. And it is going to just kind of blend it together and lighten it up quite a bit. I'm adding some just a little bit down here just to add a little bit more creativity to our bubbles and just kind of pulling this down. And most of you that have worked with this paper, seen me work with this paper, it does have quite a bit of tooth. So it will handle a lot of layers so that you can really make your bubbles look really realistic. So I'm going to come in here with my white Prisma color, which is 938. And I am just going to go over this whole entire thing and bring all these colors together as much as I can. And it's going to also lighten them up quite a bit as it brings them together. And then this is where your magic is going to happen. And I've got my indigo blue. And when you want to make something look really, really 3D, what you do is you come around the outside. Use a very light hand and make sure you have a sharp lead on your, uh, on your pencil. And I am just going to go around my circle or my bubble rather, just like this. Now when I drew these out, I just drew them out with a pencil. And I'm staying a little bit lighter down on this end. I'm coming in with another layer here up at the top. But look at the difference. And of course, I'm going to come back with all of these colors again. Because you can't leave your pencils with that flat look. So I'm going to come back again with my Cerulean Blue. And I'm going to go kind of in a circular motion here. And I'm going to pull that Indigo Blue down. And it's also going to add quite a bit more pigment here. And I want to go very lightly over this part and just kind of spread that out a bit. But I'm going to come back with my blue lake now and I'm just going to come over this and bring it down even more. And you can see how it is just kind of starting to really come together. Probably should have had a sharper lead on this one. 
probably would have helped. So now I'm going to come back with what was my next blue in line was my Caribbean Sea. And I'm going to pull this down even more. Okay, and then I should probably try to come back and blend some of this out with my Deco Yellow. And then again a little bit more with my Sky Blue Light to just kind of blend some of these colors together again. And then with my white again. And as you can see, or if you noticed, I left quite a bit of white here right in the center just because I want to keep that reflection there. And I am blowing the wax a little bit off of the paper because, you know, these Prismacolors, you'll end up with wax on the paper, and I don't want my paper to hold the wax and end up having smudges here or there on my white paper. So I'm just coming in with my indigo blue, and I'm darkening, darkening this up just a bit more. And I'm going to come all the way around and really define this line now. Do you see what that is doing? Is just kind of making it look really super 3D. And then I'm going to come back again with my Ceruline Blue and add a little bit more darkness here up at the top. come back with my white a little bit more and kind of blend all this out. Okay, so let me show you how you would do another bubble that is kind of attached to that one. So if you look at this, you could see that I have a lot of the lighter color right here. And I purposely did that and kept the darker up here and the reflections down here towards the center. So that way, when I do the one that is attached, it is going to have a darker area here and then the highlighted area down here. So we're gonna start all over. I'm gonna turn my paper just a little bit so that you could see, but I'm gonna start all over and I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to start with my Ceruline Blue and I'm going to do the top part of my bubble. Now see how it just really makes or creates the separation between those two bubbles right there and of course it's going to enhance it even more when you come back again with your indigo blue. So now I have my sky blue lake. And I'm just kind of pulling that blue through a little bit. And 
And then my next blue is my Caribbean Sea. The more you do these and the more you practice, like I've not done bubbles in quite some time until I sat here again to do them now. The last time I did the bubbles was probably the last time I did that page, the Hannah Carlson page. And so, actually no, I actually created my own bubbles in a tutorial I had in a Hannah Carlson book and colored in the bubbles and showed you how to do it there. But these are a little bit different. So let's come in with our deco yellow. And the reason I use this deco yellow is because I love how it adds that extra pop of color. And I love how when the blue gets mixed with the uh, yellow, it creates that green there and it just gives the bubble that extra bit of reflection. Look at the difference there when I laid that yellow down. And I didn't even pull the yellow all the way through to the center because I wanted to keep that reflection there. So I just kind of did it kind of over the blue and then around the outside if you can see that. And I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna kind of blend these together a little bit with my sky blue light. Come all the way around the whole bubble. Now let's see what we can do with our indigo blue. So come in here with the indigo blue. And this is the color that creates the magic. <laughs> so we're really going to define this outer edge here. This is really the color that makes our bubble come to life. And you can do this with other colors, but I don't know, to me, like, the um, blues and the yellows just really look so good together for bubbles. I love them. Look how cool that looks. So let me come back and just kind of blend it all out with my white. And like I showed you earlier, the white is going to lighten up your colors. So if you want to come back, with your colors and add more color. Let me come back with a little bit of a, another blue. So I've got my cerulean blue and I'm gonna come back and I'm just gonna add more blue here, another layer just to kind of really make it pop. And then I'm gonna skip over my blue lake and I'm gonna go right to my Caribbean Sea and I'm going to pull some more of that blue down, right down into that yellow. And kind of go over the entire bubble, blow some of that wax out of the way. And then I'm going to come back one more time to really define these areas with this indigo blue. Those of you that have watched my uh, tutorials before, you know that this indigo blue is one of my absolute favorite colors to use to create shadows and definition. So if I just come back over here and I go over with another layer of this indigo blue, going to make it pop even more. Make sure we're going right into this other bubble here. And do the same thing at the top. And if you wanted even more of a shadow, which I don't really think I need one, but if you wanted to do that, you could use probably a very dark gray or even black. And there is our bubbles. Look how cool that looks. Oh, I love coloring bubbles. But see, like I'm looking at this and I think this one looks better with the colors that I have laid down. So I'm gonna add a little bit more blue up here. I think this uh, top bubble 
just needs to be burnished in just a little bit more maybe just because this paper can take so many layers oh yeah it's starting to look better just pull this down like the oh it looks much better now it needed to be burnished out some more just because the area is so big Oh, I love it. I think I'm going to go ahead and color a couple more of these bubbles in, and I'm going to speed it up to music just so you could kind of watch them come to life on camera because I think that's just, I don't know, I love watching those kinds of videos, and so I'm sure that a lot of you do too. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So I realized before I did the uh, speed through to music that I didn't show you how I added the detail onto the bubbles. So I hope you enjoyed that speed through and just watching them kind of come to life. But I ditched my Uniball or my Signo Uniball white gel pen and I pulled out my Posca because I am having some trouble with my gel pen and it doesn't seem to want to be working for me. So what you're going to do with your Posca is you are just going to add the details just by doing that. I 
how to come back over that one and do it a second time. And then let's do it to the other bubbles. Now you don't need to do this part. The bubbles already look like bubbles before even doing this part, so it's really up to you. And then let me put one on this one. And then this one down here. kind of experimenting off camera and I wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not but I kind of do because it added a little bit of a reflection there so I laid the Posca down and then I really wasn't crazy how the Posca looked so I took my skylight blue and I just kind of went over and it kind of pulls up some of the Posca but leaves a little bit of that reflection there at the same time that one had actually completely pulled it up but don't ever think when you're coloring that like you've made a mistake because even if you do something that you're not necessarily so crazy about and you don't like it, you can always come back and do something to be able to fix it. So just like I laid that Posca down and didn't really care for it, you could still see the Posca and it just kind of added a little bit of a reflection in those areas. And then I just went over my with my sky blue light and I just went over it and it kind of took it up for me but still left a little bit of that white there so it doesn't look so opaque it just kind of really lightened it up so that it's still there but not really there so it just kind of gives that look to the eye when you look at it that it is just a little bit more reflective along with being 3d so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Happy coloring. Bye.